First we need to set up the USB cable. If you open your device manager, you can watch the USB cable load and set its COM port setting. First it will load it under other devices. After it's done there, then it will actually put it down into the USB port itself and assign it a number. You need to remember the number for all your programs that you use. This one here is assigned it as COM3. Now that we have the USB COM port set up, let's go ahead and open MicroWin, Siemens, and download a program that we have that we use for our trainers when we test our trainers. If you just click on download right from the beginning after you uh, install a program then most of the time you're going to get an error saying that it's you don't have the COM port set up. If you already have the COM port set up then you can just do a download. So the error is common. Click on communications and you'll see that this one set up as COM1. Remember our USB port is set up as COM3. So if we uh, select the PC PG, then we can change the properties on that. Change the COM port from COM1 to COM3. USB is actually our, our high speed cable, and that'll be in another video. You can start the scan, and then once your CPU is found, then you can go ahead and stop the scan. And then select download. You're going from the PC to the PLC. After you download it, you can put it to run, and then monitor it online to actually see the program running in the CPU. The blue means that the logic is true. So you're actually passing current through the true logic. Anything that's open or white is not true. 